um, I didn't even know what aesthetics was mm -hmm. until I you know, started Googling and started researching you know, that once you find something that you're interested in, it's going to automatically click. Um, my why for starting, um, for becoming an esthetician was, I worked in fashion and also the beauty industry on the corporate end of things. And at the time, I just kind of hated my path as far as like where I was going. Um, also being African too, and like, you know, my parents, me being first generation, just coming from a household that was just so strict all the time, and wanted me to just be a doctor or something like that. That was not the path that I wanted to be in. You have to have a why. This is, it's not, it's not easy being in business for yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's easy, trust me, it's easy going into job, to a job and clocking in mm -hmm. and knowing that you're going to get paid every Friday or every other week, right? It's hard work. It's tears, it's, it's blood, it's everything. It's things that you never thought that you would ever do. That, but you have to wake up and you have to do it. If you do decide you want to be a nonprofit, for me, this is the avenue we're probably going to take next year with it, honestly, is to still be a nonprofit but under the education sector. For us, we're called Girls Empower to Motivate and Succeed. That'll be our education basis where we'll get our business, our building under, because that is how we can um, do it in the education sector. And our DBA will be Bronx Gyms, which is what we call ourselves anyway.